there are storms always occurring in space. In fact, this week we have seen solar storms so strong that they brought colorful auroras to parts of the southern U.S. The video that you see here was taken last night in northern Texas. All right, so what happens in space, of course, has a direct impact down here. And as Fox 5's Audrey Puente shows us, solar storms happen a lot more often than you might think. The Northern Lights, also known as the Aurora Borealis, on full display in parts of the world they are rarely seen. Physicist Tamitha Scove is known online as Space Weather Woman. We have solar flares, which can be likened to things like lightning, which are very fast phenomena, and they only affect a very local part uh, around that phenomenon. Then we have solar storms. They're also known as coronal mass ejections. These are more like rainstorms. When they go from mild, like a light drizzle, to completely wild, which is, let's say, a hurricane. These solar storms send a stream of electrical charges and magnetic fields toward the Earth at a speed of about 3 million miles per hour and can take one to three days to reach the Earth. Can cause issues uh, in the radio spectrum and cause basically radio, what we call radio blackouts. And these can create problems for people who are trying to communicate over the globe. It also can cause issues for satellites that are trying to communicate to our ground. In 1989, the power grid went out in the Canadian province of Quebec due to one of these solar storms. And it was 2003 when two weeks of solar storms at the end of October caused power outages around the world. The study of these phenomena is known as heliophysics. NASA has an entire team dedicated to its research. You could just call me a solar astrophysicist. My, my actual title is Associate Director for Science for the Heliophysics Division at NASA Goddard. This work helps us understand the relationship between the sun and the planets in our solar system. It also helps protect our technology here on Earth. That applies to people that are uh, flying airplanes or navigating ships or even farmers these days use GPS to operate their farm equipment. SpaceX creator Elon Musk shared that the powerful geomagnetic storm put his Starlink satellites under tremendous strain. These glitches caused by space weather can ultimately threaten the agriculture and financial industries. They have farm equipment which is driven by GPS. It's very accurate and make very specific patterns of how they you know, plant seeds, how they harvest crops, and that will impact you and I. We might see it in our prices, we might see it in availability. Also, people who might be undergoing radiation or chemotherapy, or people who are frequent flyers, and of course, things like air crew, they need to be very aware of radiation storms when they occur because they can get higher doses of radiation, and especially over certain types of polar routes. A solar cycle runs for about 11 years. We are currently in a strong solar cycle. It's going to be a pretty exciting thing to see this connection to, you know, our own personal star and, and how it is impacting our daily lives. So the next time you look up at the sky, remember this. What happens in space directly impacts us here on Earth and in some case offers us an extraordinary show.